I'm Jennifer from the Worcester branch of the Wayne County Public Library, and welcome to Tuesday Crafternoon. Today, I'd like to show you a nice little Christmas craft that is easily made with a vintage handkerchief. Now, if you've got some at home, that's great. You can also find them at various thrift stores or antique stores for relatively little amount. So this is going to be a fun craft that you can make, maybe with a treasured heirloom or with a new treasure. What it's going to look like is this. We've got some lace for the wings, a little bit of a metallic pipe cleaner for the halo, ribbon to go around the neck and to hang it up. So what you're going to need is, like I said, a vintage handkerchief, a foam ball that is about an inch and a half in diameter. You need ribbon, and we're going to cut a length about 18 to 24 inches long. You'll also want some lace ribbon, and this is wider. Um, it's pretty much the same on both sides. It doesn't have to be if you don't want that, but we're going to cut about four inches of this for the wings. You'll also need a metallic pipe cleaner if you can find one. Um, you could also make a little halo out of a circlet of beads if you want to try that. You'll also need possibly glue, needle and thread, and then scissors and ruler to measure your ribbons. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing we want to do is open up the handkerchief and in the middle of it, we'll place the foam ball and then just kind of reach under, flip it over. And you're going to want to just kind of by hand, gather it together. And we are going to tie the ribbon around. Now I would take this down towards one of the ends to tie it. Snug it in good and tight. And we'll give it a quick knot here. So that starts off the body of the angel. And let's find our way around to the really nice, pretty part that we want to be in front and just kind of rework it so that that shows off really nicely. Okay, what we want to do next is and I'm going to make a correction here. We'll make it in the description box below as well. But the flat lace is actually going to need to be about eight inches long because we double it over for the wings. That's my mistake. So what I want to do here is go ahead and stitch that together. And what I have queued up is actually some embroidery floss from the last project. So this isn't going to be my best work. It would be best to match your thread to the lace, but I'm going to try and hide it. So we'll see how this goes. And what I'm going to do is kind of pinch it together and we'll just secure it that way. You can do this however works best for you. Um, if you want to leave the lace flat and just do like a running stitch up it to hold the overlap in place, you can do that. I'm just going to do a quick little up and down here to hold the layers together. It's not fancy, it's not pretty, but it's going to be 
kind of a temporary hold anyway, because I'm going to show you what happens next. So you go to the back of your angel, and hopefully your knot is here in the center back. If not, adjust it as you need to. And then I'm going to lay the wings over it, and we're going to knot that in place as well. Or we're going to try to with my fumble fingers. You know, some days the fingers work, some days they don't. Am I right? And we'll secure that in place. Now, if you wanted to make these wings a little bit bigger, you can certainly do that. You can use wider lace. You can use a longer length so they go out to the side more. Okay, so we've got little wings here. And now I'm going to go ahead and create the loop. So I'm just going to come down here and knot this into place at the base. Okay, so we've got the loop that'll help us hang it on the tree. Now, we want to do the halo. Now, if you want to do just a simple circle with your pipe cleaner, you know, you're just gonna bring the one end around, make your circle and wrap the end around the rest of the stem. You can do that and then just trim it and glue it to the top here. I'm lazy and I don't have glue handy, so what I'm going to do is just bring that the rest of that stem perpendicular to the circle, like so. And then I'm going to come to the back again and figure out about how long I need of a stem to tuck it into the ribbon. So I think I'm going to trim it off here. And then I'm going to work this in under the ribbon. Bring it down a little bit. Work it into place and then wrap the tail of it back up to secure it. It's kind of fiddly, but you know, you can do this or like I said, just make the circle and glue it to the top of the head. All right. And then you can adjust as you need. And there we go. You've got a little handkerchief angel. You could hang it on the tree. You could hang it from a wreath. If you wanted to do a couple of these, the, you could just hang them from the curtain rods or however you want to do this at home. That's all there is to it. And what I will do is for the week after Thanksgiving, I'm going to put together a number of take it and make it kits for these handkerchief angels so that you will be able to call and reserve one, pick it up, take it home and make your own. So for today, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you give it a chance at home and stay healthy, be kind and get creative. Bye-bye.